Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Too good looking for a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Man, I was, uh, I checked out this article about this, uh, woman over in England named, uh, Sherelle Niels. I believe that's her name, right? There's a link in the description box talking about her, right? And she says she is too good looking to keep a boyfriend, right? And y'all can check out the article yourself, but in, in a gist, um, she said, you know, she, she's just so good looking that, you know, men, they don't try to get to know the real her, right? You know, they just want to show her off and everything. They're intimidated by her and, you know, and she... She also gets so much hate, not just, and it's not even about with boyfriends, but just from some people because she's so beautiful, you know, with her 54 or so thousand Instagram followers. And, and you know, <laughs> I'm going to be honest, even though I use her thumbnail and I use her article as uh, the article about her as an introduction to this, this really ain't about her because you know what, honestly, I don't know her story. I don't know her story because, you know, she was saying she got personality and everything and men aren't interested in finding out. And as I've said on a few occasions, I, you know, I got a bunch of dimes in my family. Like, I hate to say it, but she looked like she could be one of my family members. I mean, she's pretty. Right. And yeah, that, that's how uh, some of my family members looked, especially when they were younger, you know, now, now they, you know, they in their 40s and 50s now and they. It, they get a bunch of old men chasing them now, but it, some young guys too. But anyway, right? I thought about that, right? And I was like, hmm. Well, she probably have a point, cause like I said, I don't know her personally. She might be the funniest person ever. And actually, somebody like me, she definitely get along with me, cause trust me, I wouldn't give a shit about her look. Like, oh, okay, what you talking about? Yeah. Well, you got some business ideas? <laughs> Speaking of which, hey, y'all check out uh, uh, Ron Wills about that business, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, let, let me get the subs up over there, man. Let me get the subs up. Anyway, and a link for Ron Wills about that business is in, in the description box. Yeah, but getting back to this uh, young lady in the discussion in general. You know what? That is a phenomenon. She has a point on one instance. You have too many men. They get a real pretty woman or around a real beautiful woman. They lose their damn minds. I'm like, I mean, they sitting up there staring. I mean, I've had, I've had some dimes. And these, ain't, these are dimes telling me some real stuff because I wasn't fucking them. So they were just like, yeah, you go out with these guys and they just staring. Like, I know this one woman. She, she went on a date with this dude and... He said he was just staring at her like, I guess he wasn't used to dealing with somebody as pretty. And I, I thought it was funny that he was so focused on her looks because I knew her. She, she's kind of goofy. She that type you shit you go to the comic book store with or play a video game with or something, you know. Sit there and watch an anime like marathon. <laughs> so I was like, dude, why you, why, you, why you tripping? It, yeah, some dudes do get like that i think so many dudes are so so used to dealing with uh plain james average looking women women with uh bad attitudes they get they they get up there with a beautiful woman they just like damn i don't know what to do i don't know do the same thing you do with the plain james you know you ain't uh uh pressed about them or anything act normal in fact i say that in my um in my book uh meeting attractive women yeah, and check that out. If y'all want to know, if y'all a guy and y'all want to deal with a woman that look like she does in the picture, man, check out my book. Cause they, they really easy, man. They, they ain't difficult at all. Because like I said, I've dealt with, I'd say dozens, honestly, dozens. And it's just like, eh, you know. But there's some other stuff with uh, with the beautiful women, right? There's, a, there's some other stuff because sometimes it ain't always the guys are intimidated. See, there's two general things with 
like these very super attractive dime looking women two general things that it ain't always the guy is intimidated right it ain't, it ain't always the guy one these dimes can be sweet you know they can be well a few can be evil at least with me i guess they're evil with other guys that's their experience but they can be sweet and all that but sometimes maybe it's just boring Seriously, I, I don't know what it is. I mean, yeah, um, like in uh, meeting attractive women. Yeah, that's a plug. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's in the description box. But, you know, it's just like you go on some dates and you just like, okay. You know how you be someplace and you, you say you at a dinner or something or, you know, yeah, I had a fancy restaurant and they just talking. Oh, it's kind of like if y'all saw that scene in Coming to America with Eddie Murphy, right? And then he was like going through that round where he's talking with different women. And you had that one goofy woman who was just talking in it. You know, Eddie, as Prince Akeem, he, he was just trying to keep his eyes open and stuff. Some of these women just born, man. I mean, that ain't nothing against them. They got the same personality. Uh, you know, same range of personalities as any other woman. But... That being said, that means just like some ordinary, plain, fat, ugly Jane is born as shit, so can they. It's because, like, once you get past their prettiness, you just like, damn, girl, do you? It ain't even that they're airhead or anything. They're just born. You know, and see, one that's one thing with many beautiful women. They're so used to guys just giving them attention just on GP. You know, they just like, boom. You know, like, uh,. I remember this one time, right? Um, went on a date with this uh, woman. Like, she she had actually came on to me. Very fun. Oh, my God. Sometimes I look at myself and say, damn, how come I couldn't get with her? Right? But the reason, like, she had met me. It was at a modeling. Uh, it was at a fashion show, right? I was selling some books. And she actually purchased a couple, right? Cool. Gave her my card. She called me up. And was talking about, you know, she was like, she liked them and everything. And, right, we made a date to go out like a week later, right, just to a little poetry spot. Because, well, Ron, Ron don't be spending money. <laughs> Shit. Go to some neutral spot. So we went to a poetry spot. And, you know, and I talked with her through the week. And they met her at the poetry spot. And the spark just wasn't there. And she was cool, right? She was cool. And, you know, nice person, very beautiful, like beautiful face, killer body, feminine, you know, had a nice little skirt on. I was like, very feminine. It's like the type, she that type wears skirt all the time, just talking with her, right? And I was just, that's just what brother was just not feeling it, right? And it's funny, right? You know, it was just kind of, you know, let, let the thing weighs part and all of that. You know, it was amicable, amicable, you know, no, no real drama. And then, um, you know, I remember I saw her years later, and this was when I was doing some vending at another fashion show. This time, this was when I was married, right? And I saw her again. Even, 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 even my wife was like, "Damn, you ain't hit that." She looked at me. Yeah, I was just like, "Nah, just wasn't feeling it," you know. Because that kind of leads into, like, the second part. Yeah, it was like, yeah, the woman was pretty. She had a killer body. You know, she was actually feminine. But she didn't have that, like, she really didn't have that sexual charisma. Right? Like, um, I used to, I'll use two famous examples, right? Um... One was Beyonce. Now, I remember years ago, back when Destiny's Child was uh, still together. I was at this, I was at, yet an, I was at an expo selling books. Yeah, I've done a lot of vending, right? I was at an expo selling books, and people were, uh, you know, I was just walking about, you know, like walking back to my table, and people were like, yeah, Destiny's Child is here, Destiny's Child is here, right? You know, Beyonce and, you know, those other girls, right? And the way I was walking, I, I, like, turned around, and Beyonce was right there. 
right? About to go on stage and whatnot. I mean, close enough where I could have reached out and touched her. Like, literally, without moving, like, that close. And I was like, eh. <laughs> I was like, eh. Because, I mean, yeah, she was pretty, very pretty. But she didn't have that sex appeal, man. You know? And I'm like, I'll give you another example. Famous person, Kenya Moore. And I talked about this on a website I used to frequent years ago, right? I was, uh, you know, I always tell y'all I worked in gyms, right? And, yeah, Ron was one of those people. I, I always had kept, like, two or three jobs at any given moment, right? But um, it was part-time at this gym. And I was working on the front desk. And it was late. It was uh, late in the evening. Nobody was really in the gym. In comes walking Kenya Moore, right? And I was like, oh, wow, Kenya Moore. And that's back when she was doing this movie called, uh, you know, they were getting ready to put this movie out called uh, Tra about a menage a trois between uh tra twa <laughs> twa about a menage a twa between um you know her and um i think it was um that dude uh that dude shaza from D a different world but um i saw her and i was like oh yeah hey how you doing king you more and at first she she had a little attitude like hey, yeah i'm king it's like whatever bitch and you know after she saw the look on my face like the whatever bitch look on my face she kind of calmed down she was actually cool to talk to after that right uh but um you know i'm just i wasn't feeling it i was like damn you know what she a former miss universe or miss something usa like tall killer body very pretty I was just, I was like, damn, she don't have no sex appeal, though, you know? And see, that that's the thing with many of these women who are very good-looking, you know? People will rate them a dime and everything, you know? Ten, perfect ten, they're just so pretty. A lot of times, if you rate them on just sex appeal, they probably rate like a five, maybe even less. Because sex appeal is more than just like a pretty face or even a great body. But it's a certain attitude about sex and a certain way that a woman is going to carry herself. So there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of stuff. Like a woman could be real pretty, right? But she might not be receptive in a sexual way. She might be giving off a body language that tells a man, hey, nah, you ain't coming up in here. Or you ain't coming up in here without spending money or something. You know? And see, that's that's the case with uh, many very attractive women. See, I don't, I don't want to go on too long about this, but usually if you see a good-looking woman and she's single, yeah, uh, men being intimidated is a factor. Like I said, I, I got to give her that. I can't argue with her on that. You know, she, she knows what she's dealing with. And some guys, you know, they see that very beautiful woman and they just like, you know, they get stupid. But for the guys who get past all that, go on a date with them, hang out with them, they're just like, man. Like, I knew this one dude, right? And he told me he got with this real fine woman, and he complained about how good she was in bed. She said, man, she wasn't shit in bed. I've actually had that experience. Probably the finest woman I ever had sex with. Just kill, pretty, kill-ass body, perfect body, right? I was just like, man. That might have been one of the few times I faked it. I was like, ah, 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 knowing I didn't come. I was like, shit, let me get off of here. This shit ain't even worth it, All right? But it's, it's usually those two factors if a woman has, if a woman's very good looking but has a trouble getting into a relationship. And plus, you got to have some relationship. You got to be able to really deal with another person. So, anyway, right? We got a bunch of noise going off in the background. Um, anyway check it out right that's it that's what i think uh y'all check out this story uh, in the description box um check out uh for those who want to meet women like this yeah check out this link i have in the description box too meeting uh, attractive women one of my books all right and um you know what also check out uh you know check out my other uh, sites check out negro manosphere uh, that's in the description box. Check out Ron Wells about that business. That's in the description box. Yeah, I need to get the subs up, y'all. So go over there and sub me over there, man. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.